The Nabataean Kingdom was situated between the Arabian and Sinai peninsulas. Its northern neighbor was the Kingdom of Judea, and its southwestern neighbor was Ptolemaic Egypt. Its capital was the city of Rakhmu in Jordan, and it included the towns of Basra, Hegra, Medain Saleh, and Nitsana. The Nabataean Kingdom was a political state of the Arab Nabataeans during classical antiquity, the period of cultural history between the 8th century BC and the 6th century AD centered on the Mediterranean Sea. The Nabataeans were one among several nomadic Bedouin tribes who have historically inhabited the desert regions in the Arabian Peninsula, North Africa, the Levant, and Mesopotamia. They became familiar with their area as seasons passed, and they struggled to survive during bad years when seasonal rainfall. The Nabataeans were initially embedded in Aramaic culture, theories about them having Aramean and ancient Semitic-speaking people in the Near East first recorded in historical sources from the late 12th century BCE. The Aramean homeland was known as the Land of Aram, encompassing central regions of modern Syria. At the beginning of the first millennium BCE, a number of Aramean states were established throughout the western regions of the ancient Near East. The Nabataeans might have originated from there and migrated west between the 6th and 4th centuries BC into northwestern Arabia and much of what is now modern-day Jordan and situated at the crossroads of Asia, Africa, and Europe, within the Levant region. Nabataeans have been falsely associated with other groups of people. A people called the Nabate, who were defeated by the Assyrian Mesopotamian kingdom and empire of the ancient Near East that existed as a state from early as the 25th century BC, in the form of the Assur city-state. King Ashurbanipal, were associated by some of the Nabataeans because of the temptation to link their similar names. Another misconception is their identification with the Nevi'ot of the Hebrew Bible at least mentioned five times in the Hebrew Bible, according to which he was the firstborn son of Ishmael, and the name appears as the name of one of the wilderness tribes mentioned in the book of Genesis 25-13, and in the book of Isaiah 67. Nabataeans appear in historical records from the 4th century BC the evidence of their existence before that time. Aramaic ostracified indicate that the Achaemenid also called the First Persian Empire, must have been established before 363 BC after the failed revolt of Hakor of Egypt and Evagoras I king of Salamis, 411-374 BC, in Cyprus, known especially from the work of Isocrates who presents him as a model ruler. The Keterites joined the failed revolt, the kingdom, was already a large nomadic, ancient Arab tribal confederation. Described as the most organized of the northern Arabian tribes and consequently lost significant territory and their privileged position in the frankincense trade and were presumably replaced by the Nabataeans and allowed Nabataeans to control the frankincense trade from Dedan to Gaza. The first historical reference to the Nabataeans is by Greek historian Diodorus Siculus an ancient Greek historian. He is known for writing the monumental Universal History Bibliotheca Historica, who lived around 30 BC. Diodorus refers accounts made 300 years earlier by Hieronymus of Cardia, one of Alexander the Great's generals, who had a first-hand encounter with the Nabataeans. Diodorus relates how the Nabataeans survived in the waterless desert and managed to defeat their enemies by hiding in the desert until the latter surrendered for lack of water. The Nabataeans dug cisterns that were covered and marked by signs known only to themselves. Diodorus wrote about how they were exceptionally fond of freedom and includes an account about unsuccessful raids that were initiated by Greek general Antigonus I, son of Philip from Elymia a Macedonian Greek nobleman, general, satrap, and king. After Alexander the Great's death in 323 BC, his empire split among his generals. 
During the conflict between Alexander's generals, Antigonus I conquered the Levant, and this brought him to the borders of Edom an ancient kingdom in Transjordan located between Moab just north of Petra. According to Diodorus Siculus, Antigonus sought to add the land of the Arabs who are called Nabataeans to his existing territories of Syria and Phoenicia a region of the eastern Mediterranean, primarily located in modern Lebanon. The Nabataeans were distinguished from the other Arab tribes by wealth they generated revenues from the trade caravans that transported frankincense and aromatic resin used in incense and perfumes, obtained from trees of the genus Boswellia in the family Berseraceae. The word is from Old French frankincense, high-quality incense, myrrh and other spices from Udeman in today's Yemen across the Arabian Peninsula passing through Petra and ending up in the port of Gaza for shipment to European markets. Antigonus ordered one of his officers, Athenius, to raid the Nabataeans with 4,000 infantry and 600 cavalry and loot their processions. Antigonus' second attack was with an army of 4,000 infantry and 4,000 cavalry led by Antigonus's son, Demetrius. Nabataean scouts spotted the marching enemy and used smoke signals to warn of the approaching Antigonid army. Protect their herds and possessions to guarded locations in harsh terrain, such as deserts and mountain tops, which would be difficult for the Antigonids to attack, and defend the rock to what's remained. The Antigonids attacked the rock through its single artificial approach, but the Nabataeans managed to fight back the invading force. Demetrius eventually was forced to accept peace, and withdraw with hostages and gifts, Demetrius drew Antigonus's unsatisfied for the peace of Demetrius's reports of bitumen, also known as fault, deposits in the Dead Sea. Antigonus sent an expedition, this time under Hieronymus of Cardia a Greek general and historian to extract bitumen from the Dead Sea. A force of 6,000 Arabs sailing on redrafts approached Hieronymus's troops and killed them with arrows. Antigonus lost all hope of generating revenue the first conflict caused by a Middle Eastern petroleum product. The Nabataean Arabs did not emerge as a political power and suddenly and went through two phases. The first phase was in the 4th century BC ruled by an elders' council, which was marked by the growth of Nabataean control over trade routes and various tribes and towns. His second phase saw the creation of the Nabataean political state in the mid-3rd century BC. The Nabataean institution of kingship came about as a result of multiple factors, such as the indispensabilities of trade organization and war. The following outcomes of the Greek expeditions on the Nabataeans played a role in the political centralization of the Nabata tribe. The earliest evidence of Nabataean kingship comes from a Nabataean inscription in the Horana region that spans parts of southern Syria and northern Jordan. A recent papyrological discovery, the Milan papyrus providing an early 3rd century BC reference to a Nabataean monarch, Besides the anonymous Nabataean coins dated by Barca to the second half of the 3rd century BC, found mainly in Nabataean territory, support such an early date of the Nabataean kingdom. For more than four centuries the Nabataean kingdom dominated, politically and commercially, a large territory and was arguably the first Arab kingdom. Arab Nabataeans and the neighboring Jewish Maccabees a group of Jewish rebel warriors who took control of Judea, which at the time was part of the Seleucid Empire. Had maintained a friendly relationship, the former had sympathized with the Maccabees, who were being mistreated by the Seleucids. The Romano-Jewish historian Josephus report that Judas Maccabeus and his brother Jonathan marched three days into the wilderness before encountering the Nabataeans in the Horon, where they were settled in for at least a century. The Nabataeans, continued to exist until the battle with the Seleucids is over. 
The Nabataeans were allies of the Maccabees during their struggles against the Seleucid monarch a Greek state in Western Asia, during the Hellenistic period. They then became rivals of their successors, the Judean Hasmonean dynasty a ruling dynasty of Judea and surrounding regions during classical antiquity, from circa 140 BCE to 37 BCE. Between circa 140 and circa 116 BCE, a chief element in the disorders which invited Pompey, a leading Roman general and statesman and he played a significant role in the transformation of Rome from Republic to Empire and intervention in Judea. The port of Gaza was the last stop for spices that were carried by trade caravans before shipment to European markets, giving the Nabataeans considerable influence over the Gazans. The Hasmonean King Alexander Janaeus II King of the Hasmonean dynasty besieged the city of Gaza around 100 BC, on the grounds that the Gazans had favored the Ptolemies over the Judeans in their recent battles. Gaza was occupied and its inhabitants put to the sword by Janaeus. The Hasmoneans, under Janaeus, launched a campaign that captured several territories in Transjordan north of Nabataea, along the road to Damascus including northern Moab and Gilead. The territorial acquisitions threatened Nabataean trade interests, both to Gaza and to the Seleucids in Damascus. The Nabataean king, Abodas I fought to restore the areas. Abodas managed to defeat Janaeus in the Battle of Gadara around 93 BC, when he ambushed him and his forces in a steep valley where Janaeus was lucky to escape alive. After the Nabataean victory over the Judeans, the victory increased the influence of the Nabataeans to the south of their territories. During the Battle of Cana was fought between Greek Seleucid under King Antiochus XII Dionysus of Syria, and the Arab Nabataean Kingdom. Seleucid King Antiochus XII the king himself was slain during combat. His demoralized army fled and perished in the desert from starvation. After Abodas's victories over the Judeans and the Greeks, he became the first Nabataean king to be worshipped as a god by his people. Avdat was a temple built in the Negev desert by the Nabataeans to commemorate Abodas. He was buried there, and inscriptions have been found referring to Abodas the god the Nabataean kingdom saw itself slowly surrounded by the expanding Roman Empire, which conquered Egypt and annexed Hasmonean Judea. While the Nabataean kingdom managed to preserve its formal independence, it became a client kingdom under the influence of Rome. In 106 AD, during the reign of Roman Emperor Trajan from 98 to 117, the last king of the Nabataean kingdom Rabel II Soter died that might have prompted the official annexation of Nabata to the Roman Empire.